Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabac USA. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use uh, this device. The, is, uh, this device is the TL866. So if you bought one of these, you don't know how to use it. I'm going to show you the software, a little bit the hardware and everything that you have to know, at least the basic thing. So you can start working with this uh, product and you can record, read and, and everything else. So let's jump in to show you a little bit of the, the adapter so you may know uh, depending on the adapter that you may require you are going to have to buy them separately so I'm going to change the camera so that way I'm going to show you okay as you can see here we have the the mini pro so that is the software which just remember always I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little bit better remember to use the pin one, the same way it says here on the on the graphic, on the icon, um, you, you will not have any issues. So in this case, I have a AMI BIOS. This is an old BIOS from the old motherboard, as you can see here in, in this side. In this side. And also I have this uh, adapter. So in case if I have to flash another chip like this, it's a different size, of course. The only thing that you have to do is just flip the the mechanism put this uh, the way it should be and basically that's it so now we are going to work uh, with this so there is no uh, there is no um, and i mean there is nothing uh, very hard in order to sh uh, swap those uh, those uh, chips so now i'm going to show you the other screen so as you can see here we have the different adapters and here we have the chip that we are going to use in this case is the PM29F002 so that is the chip that we are going to use in this case because it's from the motherboard and if you if you want you can search the motherboard that you have in this case we have an ASUS uh, games from HP so HP they don't offer the the BIOS so you go to their site and then you download whatever version that you want to record and once you have it uh, that's it so this is the motherboard that i have so just make sure that it's 100 percent uh, accurate with the one you have and basically that's it so once you have the the files i'm going to show you i have them here and as you can see here the, i have the the file so once you have the file uh, right click extract here and then you you will have it I'll show you there you go this is the file that we are going to be using so once uh, you have that I'm going to minimize so you will see everything so here we have the the software the only thing that you have to do is just install it remember install it in C because it always for some reason weird reason at least in this version it wants to install it in uh, partition D and <laughs> that is not right at least in, in most of the cases so just uh, make sure that you have the latest version update if you have some issue with the device that I had uh, with with this device uh, I mean as soon as I bought it I mean I got it it was brand new just go tools and ref reflash firmware if there is some some issues so also it will be I mean if you have all the software that is the latest and greatest you will have more chip that uh, the software will support and the device will support as well so once you have insert the, the chip you have to go here where it says ic select ic so you go here and you type the name in this case we have the pm29 so if you if you want to search something else you can go here like i said you, or maybe you choose this i'm going to delete here this and you can search by brand if you want to Fujitsu and then you choose whatever you're going to use in this case I, I have uh, the right selection already so I'm going to cancel the bad thing about this device is that it has only 14,000 approx um, as you can see the devices that you can support there are professional uh, universal programmers that can hold up to 100,000 so or more even I mean they are counting I mean <laughs> over time they are adding like every week or every month they are adding more in this case uh, I don't know <laughs> how many but that, that is the, the idea so you choose um, try to choose the 
the, the one that will suit your needs. And another thing that you have to think is if you don't find what you're looking for, maybe you have to get another one, uh, but the cheap solution will be try to find like the equivalent, equivalent, so that, that way uh, maybe you can make it work. Otherwise, you, you will have to use something that has a lot of more uh, things, I mean, more chips in their database. So that way you will be able to, to make it work. So now we are going to jump in once again, if you have this. So in this case, we are, I mean, if you want to read the, the chip, let's say that you want to read it because maybe you, you want to duplicate it and put it in, in another chip, you can do is just read and then click here where it says read and you wait a few seconds and you, you see the image and it says okay finish great cancel and then you go here and then you can click here where it says save and then here we have okay I'm going to write like one two three save done it was saved already so what you can do what you can do now if you want to is just remove the old chip and put the new one and that's it. So here I have a, another chip that I'm going to use surely in another class. So you can remove this, put the other one and now I'm going to show you how you can record the new information in the, in the new chip. So basically now what you have to do is go here where it says program or programming chip, click and then you click program and then it will start uh, recording everything and you have to wait a few seconds or minutes depending on the chip that you have and that's it so if you want to erase the chip you can do the same thing as you can see here uh, there is another icon here or you have the image of a page with the eraser and hit there and that's it so here it says successful done and that's it so here let's say that we want to erase it click erase and basically that's it so I'm going to try to show you is how it works so I'm going to try to click erase again as you can see it will run that's it and if you want to wait what you can do is I'm going to try to make it smaller maybe <laughs> there you go yeah so that way you can see it both at the same time so let's say that now you erase it and you say okay i'm going to maybe the the bios you see the one that i just saved from the asus uh, asus motherboard i mean website and you click open and then you click here where it says okay and you can click here where it says program click program and that's it so you can see is recording you see the power the run that is going to be on all the time until the process is, is finished so basically that's it and also if you want to compare maybe you want to say, or, or verify in this case you say okay I, I want to verify that the chip uh, was written well and if it says all okay it should be okay so let's cancel and that's it so it has uh, like a few other options but at least f uh, with the basic that things that i just told you 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 should be able to do all the job that, that you need in order to proceed so if you have maybe an old motherboard or you have a new motherboard and all the things and you want to repair it that is the way so in this case i have a motherboard it was from hp when you start you see the hp advertisement if you don't want it just download the the firmware from asus then re uh, load that one and that one will not have any advertisement um, that, that will be it i mean another thing that you can do i mean if you want to add maybe your own advertisement on the software that would be another uh, option so i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any comment leave me uh, i mean write something on the comment of this video subscribe remember click on the gear so every time i upload a video youtube will send you an email sending you uh, telling you gabriel just upload one thank you for watching and see you next time